this is Science Rocks and in this video we will be talking about water bowls. If you have read Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, you will be familiar with the adventures of Ratty and his friends. But Ratty was not a rat. In fact, he was a water vole. Sadly, even though water voles can be found in patches throughout the UK, they are one of the most endangered mammals in the country. This is mainly due to the loss of suitable habitats, but also due to predation by owls, domestic cats, foxes, otters and even large pike. It is estimated that there are only 875,000 water voles in the wild in the UK. But let's get back to looking at these amazing little animals and ways that they are adapted to surviving in their wetland environment. Adult water voles can grow to about 20 centimetres and have tails that are about 12 centimetres long. They are semi-aquatic which means they live partly in water and partly on land, so riverbanks are ideal locations to build their nests. Entrances to their nests can be above or below the water. They use their strong legs to burrow into riverbanks. They are herbivores and tend to eat green shoots and reeds close to their home. In fact, the entrance to the burrow can often look like a lawn, as all the nearby vegetation has been cropped. The plant material they eat contains cellulose, which is quite abrasive and can wear teeth down. The water vole's sharp incisors are constantly growing to compensate for all of the wear and tear they receive. Water voles use camouflage to avoid detection. They have dark brown fur coats which are slightly paler on the underside, making them difficult to see in the reeds and the shade of the riverbank. Their coats are oily to help with waterproofing, and when they swim underwater, their ears are protected by flaps which keeps water out. Water voles are mammals, so they give birth to live young and can have five to seven litters each year. They do not hibernate, but in winter they spend a lot of time living in their nests eating stored food. We spent an afternoon observing waterfalls at the WWT in Arundel. They are generally very well hidden, but once you get your eye in, you know what you're looking for, and they are great to watch. This is Science Rocks.